Yeah, J-Mo is a starting pitcher for the Cubs today. He's fastball cutter, curve slider, and change, although he doesn't use that change up very much at all. He's missed down and in, and the Jackrabbits are aboard to start this one ahead of Cattell Marte. Corbin dancing around, there he goes. Cattell lays off the throw from Amaya, gets into center field, and Carroll gets into third. I love it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. So that's a stolen base, number 43, the E2, the error on the catcher, Amaya on the throw, and Corbin is at third base, no outs, and a full count on Cattell Marte. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And Tyone goes to the curveball with the count full. Swing and a miss, struck him out. A cutter that was up, fam, couldn't make contact, and there's two down. Outside corner, got him. He walks the leadoff man, gives up the steal, and then strikes out Marte, strikes out fam, strikes out Walker. And the 30th start this year for the right-hander Zach Gallen, who after three consecutive dominant starts last month, coming off back-to-back -back clunkers, losses to the Dodgers and the Orioles his last two times out. Backhanded by Lawler at short, and a nice scoop by Walker. The kid is at it again. In the air, left field. That's well struck on its way towards the bleachers, and that is caught. Ian Happ, he walked and struck out twice last night, 0 for 3. Fast ball up and away, got a swing and a miss, and it's a 1-2-3 first. We are scoreless after one from Wrigley Field. Find Alertis in left. Four up, four down for Zach. Brings up Dansby Swanson. The 2-2. Two -two. Check swing, went around on appeal. Swanson down on strikes. 2-2, two -two swing and a miss. There it is, down on strikes. Another 1-2-3 inning for Gallen. He's got three punch outs. Seven straight set down by Tyone. The one two. Little dribbler, Swanson charging, field, slings, got him. That's a nice play. With urgency, but under control here. Good quick throw on the money. Carroll will take strike three, call. Strikeout number five for Jamison Tyone. And Gallon has retired the first seven he's faced. Right on the corner with a fastball, ring him up and sit him down. Swing and a miss. And Amaya down on strikes. The inning is over. And that's 10 consecutive set down by Jameson Tayo. Well, Tommy Pham's just going to have to hit a couple more home runs. In there, got him. He was looking for something else. Yeah, well, he, and he landed the cutter in the strike zone here. Check swing. Fair ball in front of the plate. Walker never left the plate area. Amaya grabs the ball and runs over and tags Walker for out number three. That's a gift. Allen on that third base side of the rubber. Here's the 3 2. Got him. Zach Gallen, six strikeouts. He's set down three consecutive with a strikeout. That got him, says Bruce Dreckman. That's the first Chicago base runner hit by a fastball from Gallen. Right at Cattel Marte, little juggling act, and they retire Bellinger. And it's four scoreless for Zach Gallen. And that's 13 consecutive retired by the Cub right-hander. Curtis Gurriel Jr. Check swing, and he went, struck him out. And that is seven for Tyone. Tyone with seven strikeouts, his season high is eight. That's out to short, Swanson, and a nice easy inning. Five shutout innings. Suzuki struck out to win the second. He's first pitch swing, and that stays fair. Perdomo can't make the bare hand play. And that's the game's first hit for either side. The 3-2 from Zach Gallen. Suzuki got a jump. Called strike three. Got him! The strike him out, throw him out. Gets the Diamondbacks out of the fifth inning. Jordan Lawler leads off the top of the sixth against Jameson Tayo. 2-2 to Lawler. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's matched his season high with eight strikeouts. Comes a 1-2. Right there. See you later. Nine strikeouts. There's the first Diamondback base hit. A two-out single in the sixth by who else but Corbin Carroll. There goes Corbin. Amaya's throw. Gets into center field. Corbin gets third. That happened back in the first inning. Corbin Carroll stole second, went to third on a throwing error by the catcher. The pitch. A little roller towards first. Candelario steps on the base. And Jamison Tyone, six shutout innings. This was Tyone coming off 
after the top of the sixth being congratulated and uh, it looks like the word was out that he was going to be done then. First things first Julian Merriweather takes over on the mound. <laughs> on the outside corner ring him up Merriweather gets fam. It's a ball and two strikes right hander to right hander swing and a miss a vanishing slider the ball in the dirt necessitating a throw by Amaya to first to complete the put out. Swing and a miss, and Merriweather comes in and strikes out the side. Throw in the center, a base hit for Horner to start the Cubs seven. Right there with a fastball, Gallon rings him up, and that's eight strikeouts for Zach. Walker's got it, little bobble. They get one as somehow Lawler gets a foot on the bag. Two outs, Bellinger at first. Gallon set for the 2 2. Bellinger still holding. Low fastball and it's strike three. Two big called strikes for Zach Gallen in that seventh. He has struck out nine. And this is the right hander, Jose Quas. And Lourdes Gurriel Jr. gets first look. Lourdes dunks it into left field. That's a good start to the eighth. Just the second hit for the Diamondbacks today. First two are aboard in the eighth. Gurriel singles. Moreno walks, and here comes Jordan Lawler. A one two on the way. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's a big out. Geraldo Perdomo will be the batter, and we'll get another pitching change for the Cubs. Swing and a miss. He got him. He did the job that time. Corbin Carroll a chance to be the hero. Two on and two out. Corbin has walked in single. He's stolen two bases. That one wants to get down. Suzuki made the catch. Tori Lavello. Immediately signaling and they want to take another look. Did this actually kiss the turf? Call is overturned. The run scores. The Diamondbacks take the lead thanks to Corbin Carroll's second hit of the afternoon. It's 1-0 Diamondbacks. Seiya Suzuki leads off the gate. Zach Gallen back out there. A bullet up the middle and into center. Second hit for Suzuki. And only the third Chicago hit today. Lead off fans aboard in the eighth. Slow roller to second. Marte. Lawler for one. No chance to turn two. Just hit too slowly to second base. This is well hit out to left center. Guriel in pursuit. Lardis got there. Oh, he had to go a long way to get that one deep in the gap in left center. And there's two outs in the eighth inning. Astroboni takes off. Swing and a miss. Gabby's throw. Got him. Gabriel Moreno throws out a big run down there at second. To end the eighth inning. Well, that was one of Gabby's quicker, quicker exchanges that time. In and out of the glove quickly, an accurate throw to second base. Back at Wrigley Field, it's been a pitcher's duel all day long, and Zach Gallen perhaps ready to put his signature on this masterpiece. He is out there to start the ninth inning. Center field for Thomas. And it hangs up for Alec. And there's one out. Nico Horner singled his last time. Right field for Corbin. And Gallon is one out away. The batter will be Ian Happ. Ground ball up the middle. Perdomo's got it. Race to the bag. And Gallon's got the shutout. That's the ball game. Zach Gallon's first career nine inning complete game shutout.